Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, oh, Mrs. Jones, come on. He's our age. He, she, God, was I became that guy, mm -hmm. you know, and like in an instant I became that guy. Right. So how do you deal with that, bro? How did you deal with that? Is I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning, man. You I, made it out. I made it out. I was I I was released four days later. And as I'm walking out, man, you know, plus I hadn't you know I hadn't been out. Mm -hmm. I see the sun. I see the birds. And God, dang, you appreciate everything a little more, bro. How has it changed your life, man? What have you, you know done? What, in, what changes have you made in, in your life? In that essence, you it really hasn't changed my life that much. It's actually just made me appreciate everything a little more. That's I still beautiful. do everything that I do. That's beautiful. Man. But did the doctor tell you, hey, you might want to slow down a bit? See, bro, they say, well, your wife says that you eat this, you eat this, you eat this. I'm yeah, like, as far as the doc, diet. I'm, I'm Hispanic, man. That's <laughs> how so we grew up. Hey, si te ponen un plato de, de machitos. Yeah, y, yeah. Y no dejes huecas, nada en la plato si, porque no, yeah, no. you got to finish it. So I've cut down, you know, I don't eat red meat. I eat red meat maybe two days a week as opposed to six. Mm -hmm. You know, I cut down my drinking because they, <laughs> there's a funny one. He asked me, <laughs> how many beers do you drink? I'm like, ah, about maybe 20. 20, <laughs> 20, to 20. They say a week, like on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> because, hey, you start barbecuing, bro? Yeah, you start barbecuing, uh, like, yeah, yeah, you love it. Like that. Oh, yeah. So I've, I've es tempered, agua, papa. See, bro, es agua. Lechita. I've tempered my drinking, uh, you know, just, I'm taking 16 pills a day, you know, to bring And what are those everything. pills that you're taking? Tengo, I've got two for, for, Cholesterol, I've got... Like a statin or what? Yeah, the Dorvastatin is one of them. Mm -hmm. I can't name them all for you, man. Yeah. But uh, we've got two blood pressure pills. I've got uh, the baby aspirin. I've got one for... The bear is for the, the, the blood see, to be thinner. To keep yeah. the blood a little thinner. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, you take the blood pressure, of course. The blood pressure yeah. meds. Tengo una que este... It's an acid reflux one. Porque como dice mi abuelita, me tomo esta... Me tomo esta para la prisión, pero la, la prisión me sube esto. Y, and, mm -hmm. and so they all work off of each other. Right, yeah. I'm yeah. taking two blood thinners, which I'll probably end up having to be on for the rest of my life. You know, there's nothing more jarring in life than waking up every morning and seeing a different bruise. Mm -hmm. You know, he... The, so the blood thinner causes bruises, oh, man, easy bruising, it's, dude. It's and I've seen some of those that yeah, you've posted, man. Like and and, and yeah. you know, it's that's what, like, like the the little chingazos que te das, you know, you know, it's and and I'll be honest with you, man. This this was right around the time you also went to the doctor for your for, I remember yeah, you yeah. right. Well, I went and, I, I went to the cardiologist uh, because they, they they found a, a like a little pause in my and, heartbeat. And, and 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 between what happened to you and what happened to him scared the shit out of me, mm -hmm. and I ended up at my doctor. Yeah, yeah, man. And I had to get my high blood pressure under control. Well, we're at that age, man. I mean, well, I'm not past fifty. Here, I'm fifty two. Uh, I don't know how old you are, Pore. How old are you, man? So I'm, I'm, I'm 46, oh, dog. Okay. But between what close. happened to you and what yeah. happened to him, and I consider him to be a real healthy individual. Yeah. You know, and, uh, me. Well, well, that, come well, on, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was going to ask him, you know, I mean, obviously you have to change your diet and you have to change your, you know, take your pills and all right. that. But, you know, from what I was hearing from, uh, from you a little while ago about your workload and stuff, you know, uh, did he tell you to like kind of calm down with all that stuff, man? Because you, it seems you're a high strung dude. See, yeah, and, you and, know, and, and you, you got to keep busy, and you try, you you put quite a few things on your yeah. plate. Yeah, and and you know, you know he just kind of told me to back down, you know, slow down a little bit. Uh, you you gave up the pizza joint. Well, right? I took I took a leave of absence, and you know, just to kind of, ahorita we'll get into this, you know, just uh, and I took a leave of absence to get everything straight and. When I was ready to come back, was the position wasn't there anymore. I'm like, okay, that's you know that actually will probably work better for me. Yeah, well, you know, somebody me, somebody like, took that position, see, or somebody had somebody take that position right. for you, buddy. Right, exactly. You know what so, I mean? There's a higher power working. Right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. Yeah. You have to accept. See, yeah. and, see and and yeah. you know what? 
I didn't, I, I was like, you know what? This is probably what's best for me. Mm -hmm. This is what, you know, and a lot of things that, that people don't realize, you know, that haven't been through this is, is the mental part of it. bro. How, how messed up you get in your head. Yeah. You well, know, I mean, you've got the, you know, depression, anxiety, right. and which fear. I already had. Yeah. I already had that to begin with, even before the heart attack. But we were sitting there the, the last day, and every once in a while, you'll see me try to catch my breath. And, and you know, some of that, uh, some of those blood pressure medications give you anxiety. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? So there's side effects to of all course. that shit, right. bro. Yeah. Right. So Absolutely. the day that I was going to get as they released, the RN comes in. She's like, okay, so this is what you're doing. Like, she's like, and you're probably gonna have to, you know, find somebody for counseling. And you're like, you know, picture Mexican. What do you mean? And my voice even dropped. I sound like my tío in la grilla. What do you mean? Con la cara de Clint Eastwood. What do you mean? And they say, well, they say you're gonna have PTSD. I'm like, I just had a heart attack, man. And this was me, like, you know, and before it registered. Pero como andas con el heart attack, andas yeah. bien cagado, dad. Yeah. 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 It, it, so it, it, it does affect you. I went, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't sleep for a month and a half, bro. And it was literally because everything I felt like, oh, this is it. And it was right. you did it with the residuals, you know. And so finally I, I went to counseling. And I started getting counseling, man, because I just couldn't deal with it anymore. And that has turned into probably the biggest godsend I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm turning it around and... Now I'm I'm helping raise awareness mm -hmm. for this, and that's why I'm here, man. You know, it's yeah. just, you're becoming educated. I, yes, in and, this and, and field, I'm trying to educate bro. people out there, and I'm trying to, you know, there's a stigma, man. You know that hey, pues, that one know I had a heart attack, or that one know I have blood, high blood pressure, but no me ha pasado a mí, bro. Yeah. Did no you eat man. a lot of fast food, bro? Not a lot, dude. No, I wasn't that guy. Like, dude, I was doing triathlons. That's what that mm -hmm. that's what freaked me the hell out. But see, but I mean, even if you do triathlon, you can eat at McDonald's mm -hmm. all day, you know. Yeah, no, or, no, no, you're right. You're I right. Mean, but no, uh, you know, I'm, dude. I'll eat a salad as quickly as I'll eat anything else. So you know, what? What do you think was the uh, the instigator? He told me it was it was hereditary. Hereditary. Uh, he yeah. told me that I've been battling heart disease for 20 years. Holy without shit! Without knowing. Without mm. knowing. With wow. Going to the doctor and I go to the doctor. And I go get checked, and I go, you know, just to make sure that I'm okay. But what I had was something that and you needed that extra step. You know, you have to get that EKG. You have to get that echo. You, The heart hospital offers them for 90 bucks. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, you go get yourself checked, and they check. Make sure that everything's firing the way it should be. Mm -hmm. I never knew about that. That's what they told me when I went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the doctor, the PA, he, he took a, an EKG. And he told me it's something electrical, yeah. you know, and I'm like, electrical? Oh, wow. Because there's certain little electrical uh, situations that make your heart beat and, bu and pump, pump a certain amount of times per minute and stuff like that. So what, what I had was a pause uh, less than a second. And when I went to the cardiologist, he said that usually uh, is, uh, you know, common with people that are active and i go mm -hmm. well I, I do go to the gym i do this and that so then they had me do the uh, stress test and i get on a on a treadmill yeah. and there's five stages you know at every two minutes suben la the incline yeah sí. they incline the speed and the speed on the runner right and pues I estaba yo, bro, and I wasn't going to give up, man, because dije, pues si me pega un heart attack, there's a place to do it. So I, I finished the five segments of it, and, and the, the cardiologist was pretty impressed, you know, but still it was something like, ching, when they told me that there might be something, it really messes with your brain. Dude. Oh, it's like, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, because, yeah, your heart is a tropeo. Sí, bon. Restless it's, nights, it's man. carburetor que corre todo. That's that. it, man. Restless that. nights. That's exactly yeah. it, bro. And, and, and so, you know, when you go through something like this, it's everything you feel is, is, is magnified. Like, mm. ching, is this it? And then, you know, you don't, yeah. you don't, I can't even tell you how many is this it moments I have daily, bro. Like, Mm. Maybe today we we're working on the yard. That's and paranoid. And, 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 yeah, and it's hard to get over it. You know, I, I'm on this uh, this uh, a group. It's called the Iron Heart Connection, mm -hmm. and it's all people from all ranges of life that have all ranges of heart disease or, or heart issues, and they all go through it. Man, there's people yeah. that 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 had heart attacks 18 months ago and mm -hmm. still can't get to that level. Man, it's yeah. of normality. That's all we want. We don't. We just want to be normal, bro.